Welcome everyone, my name is Havik Alex, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to set up your OBS software and connect it to your Twitch so you can start streaming in no time. Let's get started. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta go to Google, type in internet speed test, and you gotta get your download speed number and your upload speed number. I'll give you guys an example of what mine is and then get yours and then we'll, we'll just put that information aside because we're gonna be using it a little bit later. The next step is to download and install OBS. You can download it for free from the website. Once you've downloaded the software, you can go ahead and install it to your computer. If by any chance you can't find it, I will have a link in the bottom of the description of the video. Next, you'll need to set up a Twitch account. If you haven't already, go to twitch.com, sign up for a new account. Once you've signed up, we're gonna leave it open and ready to go for when we need to connect through OBS to your Twitch. To connect OBS to Twitch, uh, go to the OBS settings menu. Under the Stream tab, uh, select Twitch from the drop-down menu. You're gonna see multiple names like YouTube, Twitch, Restream, and uh, you know other services. Uh, select the one that you're gonna use, which is for right now it's Twitch. We're, we're gonna get Twitch and ask it. It's gonna ask you for your stream key. You can either do it one of two ways. You can either set up. You can either go back to your account and find the stream key, which should be under your Twitch dashboard. Uh, and if not, I think it'll also like let you connect through the account. You can type in like your login credentials and stuff like that, and it'll just automatically do it. So you can do either or after that, go ahead and click apply and OK. OK, and this next step, since I want this tutorial to be as simple as possible for a general anybody just general idea to start streaming we're going to keep everything simple we're not going to go to the advanced settings or anything like that i'll save that for another video if if it's you know you guys actually want it you know so that right now we're going to keep it simple so before you start streaming you want to customize like everything you can do in their stream settings right so you're going to go to your stream settings in obs you're going to go to settings menu and select output tab there you can adjust like the bit rate and resolution and other settings to optimize the stream quality and this is where we go back to the beginning of the video where i told you guys to write down like your upload and download so for your bit rate you're gonna have to slice it in half so me for example i have an 11 i have to slice it in half which would be like 5.5 and then once you have your half you're gonna have to kind of like half that again or almost half that again and use that because uh when you're streaming upload speed will fluctuate up and down so you can't have it too high but you also don't want it really low where the video is real pixelated and stuff like that so unless you have like crazy good internet shit the, you can stream out whatever the hell you want i'm thinking but a lot of a lot of these websites or the streaming services don't accept more than six thousand bit rate or something like that so just kind of like look into it and if your internet is super stable that's way better for you because you'll be able to stream output like at 1080p and stuff like that and that's where we can go that's where we're going next for the uh, streaming quality or resolution okay so now we're going to set up the resolution for your base canvas and whatever you're capturing inside of that base canvas quick example of what i mean is this here you can see two things here the one in the back is your base canvas and the one on the front is the game you're streaming or the app you're streaming or whatever you have streaming right so for now let me just put it back where it was and then you're going to go to your settings you're going to go to the video output and then for for you the first time streaming just copy these settings 720 canvas 720 resolution and then 60 or you can start at 30 if you want if your internet if you think your internet won't make it you just start at 30 just switch this i can't currently switch it because i'm currently recording this for the video so so yeah so kind of switch to 30 run a test stream and then if if you're good your upload speed is stable and stuff like that you can go up higher in every section so this is up to you only recommendation i can give you is try to match them so you're your computer won't do extra work it's not a lot of extra work but you know it'll eliminate that that process of scaling so once you set it up the way you want click apply and okay okay so now that you have almost everything set up 
we're down to like the last part here where you're gonna have to place your scenes which is what you're gonna want to be capturing you want to capture your ps4 your xbox uh your your computer you're gonna stream from your own computer game from the computer at the same time like it, you're gonna tell it in the scenes and sources what you want to stream what you want to stream so uh you know for the sake of the video kind of just ignore this and just pretend you only have one scene and if there is no scenes on yours go ahead and right click and add a scene or you can just click the plus button on the bottom now once you have your first scene you're going to move over to your sources on your sources you're going to want to capture your game right your game your camera your whatever you're trying to put together as what the viewer is going to see so you're going to go ahead and right click you're going to add you're going to add the display capture or a game capture i like to use game capture because once you click on game capture uh, you name it whatever you like you can press ok and then i like i don't like to capture any full app full screen applications but you can if you want but i like to go specific window and then on the window section i put the name of the game like if i'm streaming um uh like a game from the pc from steam it'll tell you the name you know you're streaming uh uncharted from steam whatever it'll say the name of the game that you're streaming click it it'll show up on your screen and then once you have it press ok your game capture will be capturing you know what you want is display capture you go ahead and right click add you're gonna add a display you're gonna name it whatever you like and then here it'll be an automatic capture method you know that's okay and then display you're gonna select what monitor you want to fully capture but just remember what when it says display it means whatever is on your monitor is what's going to be be captured so like if you have important information on one side or this and that and you're capturing it the whole world can see it so always be aware of what you're capturing on the window preview which is where we're headed now so we play it we click ok and if you can see this right now it's kind of like not matching you see how it's like offset and this one is like kind of it's kind of all over the place right so if it's looking all over the place and it's not matching the screen or whatever you know it's not matching stuff like that go ahead and select the image that's weird right click it transform it and fit to screen well if you have another window that is kind of on the side over here like me that i have it on a little bit to the side right click it as well transform it and fit to screen now once you have everything kind of fitted to screen you can you know shape it change it shorten it make it smaller you know, here I have two display captures of the same type, you know, so one's bigger, one's smaller. For a shortcut, you can click on the one you want and then hit Control F and it'll reset it. You want this one to match full screen, Control F and it'll, it'll reset it back. Okay, so these two you mainly use when you're streaming and gaming from like the one PC, right? So let's say you're going to stream your Xbox or your PlayStation. So you know you have your console set up and everything on the side whatever and you're trying to capture the image of your console so you're going to go ahead and add a source and you're going to add video capture device now once it's there you name it whatever if it's xbox playstation whatever twitch twitch i mean the nintendo switch or whatever you're going to click ok and here where it says usb video device you're going to it's going to show up here like like if you have a capture device like the hd60 i have the elgato so you can select that Whatever the name of the device you bought um, to capture your PlayStation, you're going to find it here, select it, configure it. If it's not showing a preview, configure it, and then click OK. And that's how you're going to capture like your, your games and stuff like that. OK, so that is almost everything for OBS and streaming to Twitch. The last thing you need is audio and audio is kind of tricky depending on how tech savvy you are or depending also on the type of like devices that you're trying to stream because because of the way you capture audio it's kind of like a, another channel from video so you kind of also have to set it up again on your mixer so depending on what you have uh, I can't really explain everything because I don't know what kind of setups you're gonna have everybody has different types of setups So I'm gonna try to do like a simple basic one for PC and a simple basic one that I have for uh, an Elgato stuff like that So you're gonna go to settings You're gonna go to your audio and here you're gonna look at the global audio devices So this you're gonna disable everything if you have something enabled disable all of them You're gonna get two. if you're streaming from your PC, you're gonna get 
you're going to select the headphones that you're going to be listening to the game with select it like for example for me it would be a 20 game which is my astros and my mic i would go down to the mic select and uh, right now i have a different setup but if i was using the other setup that i'm trying to explain now i would go with a hyper x quadcast so in other words you put the name of the headset that you're listening to the audio and then you put the name of the mic that you're talking into or if the headset has a mic it should say also um voice you know so it would be it would the flip down mic from my headset would be the astro a20 voice so you select whichever ones pertain to your your style or the headset you have or the mic you guys have so once that's done click apply press ok and now you're going to have these three things your capture which is you have a console if you don't have a console you can mute it uh, a mic is the mic that you have fix the volumes you try to you want to have it above green under green here in, around there play around it not too loud not too low uh, having it right at the yellow mark it's perfect desktop audio you try to have it a little bit lower than the yellow this way people can hear you clearer uh, versus the game when you're playing any type of game so that's the best way I can put audio as a brief explanation because depending on how you want to route the audio, there's so many things you can do with it. And it's kind of hard to explain all in one video when I'm trying to keep it as short as possible, quick as possible, easy way to start streaming and not having too many, too much information that like you just get discouraged. So for right now, that will be it. Once you set up all the sources and customize your streaming settings, your quality, your resolution, stuff like that. Uh, but just remember that you have to be like stream, run a few test streams, you know, get it, get it to where you want, like your audio levels, your, your resolution and stuff like that. Your 30 frames versus 60 frames. You're going to have to do a few testing here and there before you get it like perfect where you, the sweet spot of where you like it. Cause everybody's setup is different and down and upload speed is different for everyone. So once that's it, you're ready to, you know, ready to go live. That pretty much sums it up, you guys. And uh, just hit that start streaming button and you're live on Twitch. Don't forget to engage with the audience. And thanks for watching the video. If it helped you, drop a like, subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And happy streaming. Peace.